My name is Gregory Desajan. I'm the graduate dean to the medalist for the Lyles College of Engineering. What it means to me is it's, it's just nice to be, uh, to be recognized for some of the hard, uh, hard work that I did uh, at my, while I was here at Fresno State. And also it's a great excuse to just come back to Fresno State and uh, be in the laboratory again. Uh, and when I was uh, a lot younger, uh, like elementary school around there, um, I had a Nintendo 64. And one of the video games that I had was uh, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And I remember uh, playing through that game. And initially, I, was, uh, I didn't like it. But then I remember uh, hitting one of the boss battles. And I just fell in love with the game. And from that point on, you know, The Legend of Zelda had like, been a defining thing for me. Because you know, it was in my childhood and, and all of that. And, um, and so I wanted to uh, eventually become a video game developer and work on Zelda, Zelda games. Um, and so that was my motivation all throughout middle school and high school and right up until I got into college, uh, majoring in computer science initially. But then when I you know, took the electrical engineering course, EC1, you know, I realized I could do, there were more interesting things that I could pursue. So the, um, the degrees I've received are uh, a bachelor's in computer science, uh, bachelor's in electrical engineering, and then master's in computer science and master's in electrical engineering. So I decided to stay at Fresno State for my master's because of uh, mainly the professors here. Um, uh, I enjoyed the, I love this department a lot. My undergraduate uh, research advisor, Dr. Dr. Crean, um, I worked in his lab. And so I had so much fun in that, in that lab that I couldn't think of possibly going anywhere else uh, for uh, for my master's um, and so plus having plus you know developing that great relationship with the faculty here yeah you know, they're they sort of become invested in your success and so I knew grad school here would be amazing so during uh, during my graduate career here at Fresno State um, working under Dr. Kuhanjian uh, doing my research in communications engineering he had a group of undergraduate students that were competing in that 5g challenge um, and it was, a, it was a topic that I found interesting too, and Dr. Kalanjan recommended or suggested that, you know, that I could join that team and potentially you know, advise them since I was a graduate student and help them work through that challenge. So I helped them uh, develop that, that system that they were working on and do the research. Um, and that was also a joint effort between another uh, uh, university out in Boston with, with that Fresno State team. Um, and so that was great because uh, uh, you know, we, we both, de uh, the undergraduate students and I both definitely learned a lot on that uh, project. So the team made it to the uh, finals for that challenge. Um, and so there was a separate award for um, potentially presenting um, the work that was done there. And so I was submitted um, for that travel um, award. And uh, we, yeah, we did win it. And so I got to travel out to uh, Washington DC and present some work at the GNU radio conference. So I worked on um, a, uh, a communications system that was attempting to implement um, something called faster than Nyquist signaling. Um, and the goal with that, um, the, the goal with that of course is to increase the data rate of modern communication systems. Um, and so that uh, faster than Nyquist signaling is an um, is a, is a, there, there's a lot of simulation-based work right now that exists uh, on that material, but there wasn't a lot of um, actual applications like uh, taking the theory and putting it, um, it you know, uh, building it in the lab and seeing if, it, if any of that theory uh, works, right? Um, and so Dr. Kalanjian and I figured out something we could do to uh, sort of develop a test bed for faster than Nyquist signaling um, and test out some of those theories. And that's, that's what my uh, graduate research focused on. I did four internships with a company called the Aerospace Corporation out in El Segundo. Um, and they, they were an amazing company. And um, uh, I had a lot of opportunities to work on a variety of different things every year I went there. Um, things like um, from uh, working on 
codex uh, for communication to um, developing um, prototypes for like a, a, a triple modular redundancy system. Um, uh, and so, yeah, I, I got to learn a lot um, from working at the Aerospace Corporation. And then after those four years there, I decided to switch over to uh, Northrop Grumman um, and did three internships there, actually. Um, and, and I ended up working there after I graduated, so. So I am a uh, signal and image processing engineer uh, at Northrop Grumman. The electrical engineering program at Fresno State really prepared me well, I feel, for the work that I'm doing currently as a signal and image processing engineer. Um, there's, there's literally a course right, called Signals and Systems uh, that most electrical engineering uh, students take, but I feel like the one here at Fresno State was very rigorous, and um, and that and that helped prepare me very well. And then on top of that, doing the graduate degree also here, um, I also got to, to take the grad graduate level courses in that in those topics um, with the same degree of rigor that the undergrad was sort of offered at, even more right because it's a graduate program. And so, yeah, I feel very prepared for, for the work that I'm doing. Honestly, there are a lot of good moments here. I, I would say that every, almost every day, except for like the first year here, <laughs> was amazing. Um, I really love Fresno State and um, the, you know, it's my, it's, it's almost like a second home to me because I spent so much time here with the undergrad, with the two degrees in the undergraduate and the two degrees in the graduate programs. Um, so, I mean, every day was a great day that I got to come to campus. In the undergraduate uh, program here, specifically in the electrical engineering department, right, um, Dr. Dr. Crean was one of the first professors that I worked with in undergrad. And he was, he was amazing. Um, and so he had a huge impact on me coming, on me eventually deciding to come here to Fresno State for grad school. During my undergraduate career, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Z, we call her, but uh, Dr. Z, uh, Zalil Malfak, she was uh, uh, she was the person that I took the most, the professor who I had the most for most of my undergraduate courses, um, and she she basically taught me everything I know about electrical engineering, <laughs> um, and so she was uh, she was a fairly influential influential professor too, and then also um, Dr. Daniel Bukowser, um, who who teaches the signals. Uh, uh, and systems courses and the probability courses um, in the engineering program. Uh, he was very influential, influential too. Um, and then finally, Dr. The, one of the most important was my graduate advisors, uh, Dr. Hovanes Kohanjin, who um, who really got me into communication systems engineering, which I f like fully understood that like this is you know this is the thing I enjoy the most. Was uh, was because of Dr. Kalanjian, and he, uh, you know, helped me work on some some of the most interesting topics I'd ever gotten to work on, which was the faster than Nyquist uh, signaling system, and so, so I would say that the, those were the, there are a lot of them, but uh, probably the most influential was were the ones that I named there. So, My advice to students in the engineering program currently, the electrical engineering program, is. It was the case with me that when I was in the courses uh, and taking them, I really didn't see um, uh, see the point of them almost, right? Or even really fully grasp the material that was being taught to me. It was always, it always felt like a year or so after taking the course, you would be working on a project or you know, scribbling on the whiteboard or on a piece of paper, or some equation or something, and then all of a sudden, it would the information from that course that you took a year ago would click, and you'd be like, "Oh, that's why they teach this material," and and then you and then what's further right is if you go to grad school, or, or maybe not, maybe you 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 see this even earlier, right? Is you start to see you start to cast a lot of what you see in the world in the frame in the framework that they've taught you in uh, in those courses and that's really powerful um, because when you can when you can cast everything that you see into that framework you can figure out how to um, how to how to control things and develop you know 
uh, products and and really work uh, with uh, yeah work with the stuff that you see around you. Yeah.